Hello everyone, I may not be religious, but I woke up today saying Alleluia. There is some more information about the upcoming reveals and stuff. Festival countdown, whatever you want to call it. And uh, thank god they also returned some old events that needed a little bit of a return. So, really quickly, Dragon Ball Legends app changed their icon. The same goes for the Japanese account, social media account. They changed to Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta. Also today on Twitter, they also made a little puzzle thing that had the Super Saiyan Goku, Majin Vegeta, Piccolo, and Vegeta Blue. What can we take up off from that? Maybe it's gonna be a fusions kind of event? I have no idea what those all those guys have in common, because when I first saw the the, the Twitter post, and I saw those four characters, I was like, okay, go Vegeta, Vegeta Blue, okay, Fusion, right? Piccolo is there. When was Piccolo near Fusion? The Broly movie. Mo so maybe Gogeta, Gogeta Blue, okay? But then why is it Majin Vegeta? Why is Piccolo dressed? Like, if it's if it was Gogeta Blue, why, why is not a different Vegeta? Why did you use Majin Vegeta? And why did you use that Piccolo artwork? So I have no idea what we can take away from that. The only thing we can take away from is, in fact, Anniversary has the Gogeta icon. Not the Anniversary. I mean, this looks like it's an Anniversary, let's be honest. The hype seems like Anniversary hype. So I can only assume it's probably going to be a Fusions event. I In the beginning, I was maybe speculating, uh, like most people, uh, Spirit Sword Trunks, because recently we had two units from the Goku Black Saga, which is Zenkai Fuse Zamasu and Free to Play Goku Black. Then suddenly we have a plethora of GT units. We got today the Battle Gauntlet for Vegeta, Zenkai Yellow Vegeta from GT, and we also got a brand new equip for Gogeta Super Saiyan 4. So I was maybe speculating, oh, maybe it's going to be Super vs GT, like the anniversary, where they're going to be uh, Spirit Sword Trunks and maybe Super Baby that can transform into um, Golden Great Ape, kind of like what Vegeta did for Great Ape Vegeta. So those were like mental speculations, but then I woke up, four minutes in, <laughs> me waking up, we got Gogeta Blue and some stuff regarding the... Um, Vegeta Blue with it, the whole Twitter thing, so I have no idea. And yesterday, as you know, I was doing my news video, uh, but there was a lot of information missing, but I couldn't get much more information. Right now, I'm also gonna go quickly through the news that I missed. Also, they changed the UI for the login. The UI is kind of different now, and I think it looks very flashy. I like it. We have Freezing Kai Awakening banners off the bat. We have Super Saiyan 3, Cooler, and uh purple broly the yeah they upgraded the master pack z to feature also some new units which is uh, goten uh, i think also i left frieza the rest i think is kept the same so i think those two are the new units for that banner which is frieza and goten which i'm gonna start summoning because i want that frieza for a long time on that frieza and the reason why i was saying hallelujah was look at this Fierce battle. Family Kamehameha. I was saying hallelujah because, as you guys know, if you saw my community post, yesterday, um, another unit of mine, Extreme DBS Yellow Broly, is fully maxed out. I was like saying that I was really waiting for purple free to play Broly, and here it is on the event. I'm extremely excited. I really want to max him out as well, so I'll try my best on that. He's, I think, four red stars away from being maxed out. So we still don't, we don't have a long way to go, but it's still a, a big process. So if you didn't farm this event, now you're able to. Here it is, the Battle Gauntlet of Vegeta. Where I know he was coming, it was inevitable. Like <laughs> what Thanos said once, it's inevitable. So it is here, we can now farm and get his impact free, which is, you know, is a good thing. Element of power, already know what it is. Not too much talk about it. Then space-time duel. With every space-time duel, we get a brand new equip. And this one is a battle of the gods for God Key. So a lot of God Key going on. That's why I'm... So it... Whoa, I'm actually thinking maybe it's gonna be fusions 
Super Saiyan Blue fusions, both Vegito and Gogeta. Also, we have these le Legends. Let's go, Legends. Oof, I fast like from movies. So this is the one that they mentioned. Uh, sorry about the size of the movies. I saw a roll and I got it hyped. Okay, I apologize. But going back, let's go legend thing that they spoke about that people can farm um, tags for their team. So again, we have what they mentioned. Super uh, Super Saiyan, no. We have Saiyan, Legion of Evil, and movies. And that's about it. Someone asked me, like, what is the best team for you to choose? If I'm being extremely honest, I would literally just say go for science. Just because of the amount of science that we have, it's ridiculous. We have so many science. So you're better off having a science team that is going to be usually very, very balanced. And of all the three Zenkai's available, Super Saiyan 3 Goku is the most busted, which is the most strongest. So I would advise going for science. For, between Lineage of Evil and movies i am not sure i would say maybe movies second place just because if you manage to get your hands on bardock zenkai broly and this gohan can do a little bit of work especially broly can do a lot of work Legend of evil i would argue is maybe the least that you should go for but hey you choose what you want i think i would suggest people going for science because I think this is overall a pretty good team and the characters you get, especially at Zenkai, are very, very powerful. So I would vote for those characters. And of course we have the raid, which is also now on. Wasn't it just supposed to be tomorrow? Oh, it's today! Okay, so also the raid started today. And it does make sense having the use that they give. It makes complete sense. I'm probably gonna use Broly, as you guys know, of course. And they also have brand new features. So here we did talk about the equips. Let's see, the secure guaranteed upgrade. Recommend equips. So basically what they spoke about on those uh, little things on Twitter, or Instagram, or whatever they are, I always follow them on Twitter. They have implemented it, and also they have the leader stuff. So there is a lot for us to experiment today. There's a lot of really Big ass information. Oh, the guild also got screens updates, more tutorials for Dragon Ball Legends. Overall, very excited about these changes. And yes, very, very excited. So I'm most excited for the equips. Let's go see what it costs for the look at the leader! Oh, leader, we're forming a part the character placing leader slot will become leader of the party. You no know, crap. What's this? That's a leader, though. When a leader participates in bed, the leader bonus effect will activate. The leader bonus allows characters that benefit from the leader's the ability, even if they do not meet necessary criteria. But the leader will benefit from other party members' the ability, even if the leader does not meet necessary conditions. Oh, some allies make an especially good leader, so try out once. Oh! Oh, this is what I want to see. Let me see the recommend they put on this Broly. Let me see what people recommend. Paha! What? Yeah, they let this one makes. Why don't I have the left one on this one? I don't. I don't. Why don't I have the frenzied power on this Broly? For God, oh no! I forgot to put this one on him. Oop. Okay, really? This one? Ra? They're really going for the criticals, I suppose. Okay, interesting. A defensive awakened equip makes sense. What is this? What what is this? I'll transform into a great ape and grime into a pulp. Uh health restoration. Okay, powerful opponent saying kinda makes sense. Alright, makes sense. Okay, pahaha. Oh it's the the awakened one. Special move and ultimate damage. The only problem I have with this one is literally just base boss defense. It's a bit wacky. And of course this one is... yeah, makes sense. Okay, so let's grab this one. We upgrade. Hopefully it doesn't freeze this time. I want this lot. Okay, secure upgrade. What are the, okay, so 
Instead of one, we spent five and a lot of this. Okay. Perform a guaranteed upgrade for a higher cost. What the, how much cost? Whoa, 50? 50 erasers and red metal, 100. That's a lot. Zenny is like whatever. Yo, that's a lot. Holy sh 50. I knew they would be costly, but this is ridiculous. Oh, now I okay, now I get it. So basically, if it doesn't if it decreases, it stays the same. Oh, now I understand. Okay, this is for me this is much better. Okay, that's good. 36. Okay. I'm going to stay here. I'll stay here. Okay, so that was actually pretty interesting. Okay, so now we have an idea how it works. Because that thing was very confusing. So basically, it doesn't allow you to go down. That shield thing, it means it just stays the same because it decreased. So it does make sense. The other one is pretty good. Costs a lot. Now I see the cost went from like 140 to 75. So you can see how much cost that is. But it's again a good update. I like this. The leader, I still have yet to see a big ass difference because again, I have synergy with my team overall. Because that's all for the news. They implement a lot of stuff. You guys feel free to experiment and tell me how you feel about the new things about this game. The equipment stuff, I think, is much better. Um, I don't really know about the one that costs like 50, 50 slow removers. That's a lot. Um, this is good, but at the same time, I don't know if I would prefer the just. The one that just keeps that score, even if it decreases, you always keep that score. So I don't know which one I prefer. Maybe that one, because you can do a little bit more than just the previous one. Again, I, I screwed it up because I didn't understand it at the beginning, but I caught it back to Z. So we could also see like everything going to full work and the RNG is still pretty cheap. <laughs> still pretty bad. So again, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's probably was a little bit a little bit longer than most of my you know news, but I really want to tackle everything that we've learned today about Dragon Ball Legends and the new update. And I hope to see you guys next time. I also want to thank my member for supporting this channel. It's always good to see people supporting my channel. It makes me feel really good inside, and I hope that I can keep up with the content that everyone can be and feel satisfied. So with all this said, I hope to see you guys on my next video or stream. So stay tuned for that, my friends.